God bless you, mommy. Praise the Lord, Prophet. Could you hear me? Loud and crispy, clear. Praise the Lord. Good night. Praise the Lord. I've counted a privilege to be a part of BFOMI, to be a part of the great teachings. Um, I, I just, I just, I'm just grateful. Praise God. Amen. And I thank you for the opportunity to speak. I just wanted to say that I've learned so much tonight. Yes. And I wanted to say when I was a young convert, the pastor of the church, I was being abused by my, my ex-husband and she brought this man to my house to give me a bath, but it was the strangest, it was a, a man who was not even my husband. And because she was my spiritual leader and I was young because I got married young to, 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 to with these bush and all these different things. And it confused me for a long time why she, as my spiritual leader, would do something like that. And she was trying to explain to me that it was something that was needed. And, and I'm glad that, uh, that, that, that being a part of this ministry has taught me that people who are spiritual leaders can be destructive to new converts, their minds, their spirit, their lives, my God. and can mess them up for the rest of their lives if possible. Yes. And so I am so grateful that you are teaching us and letting us know that these things are not of God and, 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 and where we should draw the line as to where people should touch us or do things to us. Yes. And I'm grateful. Yes. Oh my God. That, God. that is good. So good, Ingrid. Um, and, and I want to thank um, Ingrid for coming forward and sharing this tonight because this has happened, what Ingrid is sharing has happened to so many people in so many churches. Now, I'm not just talking about, uh, Ingrid, what city are you in? What city are you Brooklyn, in? Brooklyn, New York. You're in Brooklyn, Brooklyn but, New York. but where, where were you born? Where were you born? In Trinidad and Tobago. In Trinidad. In Trinidad. This, this is a common thing because if, if, if I bring somebody up from Jamaica, you know, They'll tell you, if I bring somebody up from St. Lucia, if I bring somebody up from BVI, do you get what I'm saying, from Haiti? You, they, everyone will tell you they met, there, there's somebody in, introduced them to a fetish priest or to somebody to come and bath them or to dip them into some type of water or something or bush something that was supposed to make them better. You people, if you understood the depth and the height of the wickedness in the land, of the, under the disguise of culture, you will run and you will tell apostle, open up the pool one more time and let me wash seven times. Do you people understand? So Ingrid, this is what the, 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 the pastor of the church back then did to you and you were a young woman. Let me ask you a yeah. question. Did your marriage work out? Are you still married to the same man? No. No. No, it, it, it cannot work. It will not work. Because why? You, you, let me show you. It's like what, what they did was they opened up a, a corridor to evil. They op they, if a door was open, it was okay. But they opened a corridor to a multiplicity of other demons to come through and attack this mm -hmm. marriage. So this is why the Bible said, and she said it earlier. See, light and darkness has no fellowship. It will never agree. At the end of the day, one of them are going to out the other. And if you, in, if you, inter, if you, if you pay for darkness to come in, darkness is going to shatter the light. It's going to kill it. It's not supposed to, but because it's dark powers that is being disguised as light is going to mm -hmm. kill it. Oh my God. Thank England, you. Thank you for your transparency. And um, I'm going to be praying for you, Mama, that Jesus totally deliver you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that he, he deliver you out of every bondage, out of every struggle. Are you understanding me tonight? Even yes, as you yes. are in New York, things are not as good the way they should be, the way they could have been. Praise God. So the Lord yeah. said to tell you tonight, I'm going to break this curse from you. I'm going to break <laughs> the spirit of stagnation. From Amen. your life in the name of Jesus. In the mighty Hallelujah. name of Jesus. I, I lose this woman right now. Yes, you Lord, give a spirit you. that enters yes, a life. Rabba Sata. You spirit of witchcraft, come out of her. Come out of her pores. 
Come out of the poets. Come out of my life. Be thou goose God in the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body right now. Fire. Everything that should not be out, spit out. Everything that should not be in the body, come out. Everything that should out, spit out, spit it out. Spit out, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out from the root. Out. I have root every wicked power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out of our body right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. I cast you out. Look at it coming out. Look at how the demon is manifesting itself. See, it's right here. The demon knows it's there. The woman had to expose it. As the woman exposes it, the demon now surfaces up because it says, I have been here for 20 something years. Nobody has exposed me this way. So now I lose you from Ingrid. You spirit of witchcraft. You potion. You wicked potion. In the name of Jesus. You spirits that enter by way of that altar. That enter by way of that bath. That enter by way of that bath. Come out of the body, every last one of you. Look at them coming out. Zabran, Dalaba, go out of our body right now. Lose Ingrid, lose Ingrid. Everywhere you are, the finances tied up. Lose her, lose her children. Lose her children. Lose her children. Lose her children and her children, children. It's going out. As I'm delivering her, somebody else, you're belching. Somebody else, you're feeling like you need to go. Everyone that is under the sound of my voice, where they took you somewhere and bathed you with something, or you got something and told you to bathe in it and wash in it. I command you to be delivered from that potion right now. I, del- I command you to be delivered from the powers of that potion. I command you to be delivered from the spiritual wickedness. I command you to be delivered from every spell that entered your life. Look at them. They're all coming out of this woman. I know that some of you can't stand spitting up until it's your time to spit out. But I don't think Ingrid care one bit. This woman, let me, everyone who has been delivered like this before, you are so grateful afterwards. Am I helping somebody tonight? So somebody said, well, what is this she is spitting up? What happened was the bush medicine, the bath that they gave her was a charm, was a, 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 a point of contact. And this thing was supposed to enter her life and move the curse from the marriage. It didn't move the curse. It added to the curse. And how was it? Ingrid, this was how many years ago you bathed in that thing? Oh, gosh, my daughter was a year old. She's going to be 39 this year. Almost 40 years ago. Yeah. And you understand that. But how, did the, how come the demon responded? How come the demon just responded? Because he was exposed. Are you getting deliverance tonight? You see what I'm saying? The demon was what? Exposed. He could have been with the angel, could have gone to a grave and still gone with this thing. So I break the curse. And what happened? I pulled the blanket from off of it. When I pulled the blanket from off of it, the demon is the cover off. The demon is now, oh, he's in the open. So he now knows. Jesus says, as soon as I do that, I begin to cast him out. So I'm teaching you now how you can, how to get deliverance. The deliverance is going to come by exposure. It's like a cockroach hiding in the dark. As soon as you flip on the light, they begin to run. Ingrid, over almost 40 years ago, they took her, one pastor took her to be, bring a man to the house. I, you think I was going to get naked for that freak? The devil is... <laughs> I was not going to show all my jewels away to nobody like that. But see, sometimes as she said, you are ignorant or you are naive. And you think it's because the pastor is the one bringing the person. You're not going to his hut. She brought him to your house. So you feel like okay, it's maybe okay. I, I guess it's my bathtub. You know? So you have to be careful of things like this. Ingrid, I set you free, mommy. Jesus love you so much. Do me a favor, mommy. I'm going to tell you to do something. Take this hand, the right hand. Let me see it. 
take it and push it under your arm for me. No, and in your clothes. I don't know why Jesus is telling me to do it. I move every powers of darkness from under you in the mighty name mm. of Jesus out of that armpit out of the nodes everything that carried the passageway to the breast to the chest be free in the name mm. of Jesus Hallelujah. do the next one quickly for me Ingrid do the next one quickly in the name of Jesus. Everything hiding under the armpits. I command you go. I destroy your powers. In Jesus' name. I set you free, mommy. Be free. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Go and prosper. Thank God tonight. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Hallelujah. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. My God, isn't that amazing? <laughs>